the symbol C with 13 written as a superscript before it, or with dash 13 written after it, represents an atom with A. 13 protons B. 13 electrons C. 13 neutrons or D. 13 nucleons The symbol C stands for carbon, and we read the symbol shown here as carbon-13. The number of protons in an atom is equal to its atomic number. The atomic number of carbon is 6. Therefore, choice A is wrong. A carbon atom cannot have 13 protons. Any carbon atom has 6 protons. Any atom is neutral. This means that it has equal numbers of protons and electrons. Protons and electrons have equal but opposite charges. Therefore, any carbon atom also has six electrons, and choice B is wrong. So what exactly does the number 13 show here? It's called the mass number. It is the total number of protons and neutrons. This means that the symbol represents an atom with seven neutrons. Since we have already established that this atom has six protons, 6 plus 7 equals 13. Therefore, choice C is wrong. This atom has 7 neutrons, not 13. Therefore, choice D must be the correct answer. Indeed it is. Since protons and neutrons are found in the nucleus, they are collectively referred to as nucleons. There are 13 nucleons in carbon-13. Six of those nucleons are protons. The other seven are neutrons. If you don't know how to find the atomic number, here's how you can find it from a periodic table. Each element in the periodic table typically comes with at least two numbers. The smaller number, the whole number, is the atomic number. As you can see here, the atomic number of carbon is 6. Occasionally, you get a periodic table that only has symbols for the elements, but no numbers. You can still figure out the atomic number of any element because they are arranged in order of increasing atomic number from left to right and from top to bottom. So the atomic numbers are 1 for hydrogen, 2 for helium, 3 for lithium, 4 for beryllium, 5 for boron, 6 for carbon, and so on. Note that there is a break in the numbering once you get to lanthanum which is number 57. Elements with atomic numbers 58 through 71 are typically shown below. These elements are called the lanthanides. The numbering resumes with hafnium, number 72. On some periodic tables, lanthanum is shown with the lanthanides, and lutetium, number 71, is shown in its place. There's another break once you get actinium. Actinium has an atomic number of 89. Elements 90 through 103 are typically shown below the lanthanides. These elements are called the actinides. Then the numbering resumes with rutherfordium. On some periodic tables, actinium is shown below with the actinides. And lawrencium number 103 is shown in its place. Here's a more complete way of representing carbon-13 atom. In addition to the mass number, the atomic number is written as a subscript to the left of the symbol. In a way, this is redundant since we know that for any atom to be called carbon, it must have six protons.